you know, and this is without any prompting from me. This is one of the shots, and she says, "Bert, I, you know, she was a pretty good player, and, and you know, she was taking a lesson." And she says, I keep hitting this ball into the rail. What's the matter? I says, Carla, your brain is aiming at the back of the hole. You've got to aim at the opening. And I put a little piece of chalk over here, and I says, Carla, aim at the chalk. You know, you need a solid reference point. Aim at the chalk, you know. That's the opening. You're aiming at a hole. And I swear, she made 20 in a row, and she's been having trouble, trouble, trouble. She thinks the shot's holding her back. 20 in a row. So, you know, Carla, this one's for you and everybody else out there that hits the ball over here. Those of you that hit the ball over here, you know, that's the player side of this shot. Every shot's got a sucker side and a player side. Let me show you why. If you hit this ball where I thought you, where I thought you missed it, watch what you leave your incoming opponent. You didn't leave much there, did you guys? Hey. I can miss it. I can miss it. There. You leave your incoming opponent a pretty good shot. When you hit this rail first, this rail, it comes out this way. On the other hand, that's the sucker side right there. If you're playing a pretty good player and he sees you missing balls over there, he knows that you don't realize you've got to sit, hit the ball at the hole. He also knows that he's going to get shots. So you're going to leave him in front of the hole. On the other hand, if you miss this ball on the player side, which is too thin, look what you leave your, look, look what you leave your opponent. Now when a player misses that shot, look what he leaves you. When a player misses that shot, he's aiming outside here at the opening, if he does hit it bad and overcuts it, he leaves you a bank. A sucker hits this rail over here because he doesn't know enough to aim at the opening, comes off two rails and he leaves the incoming player a shot. There's a sucker side and a player side to every shot. Those guys out there, and it's just a matter of knowledge here and aiming at the right spot on the table. You know, you can elevate yourself from sucker to player in a few weeks by hitting the balls on the right spot. A guy that realizes that you're hitting into this rail every time, that means that you're actually hitting the ball pretty close to where you want it. You're just aiming it at the wrong spot. He's going to stick with you forever. If you see the man that you're playing with, when he misses, he hits over here. He hits the, the player side. He just has a little bit more knowledge than you, not necessarily more skill. You know, this is where you pick up the knowledge. Now, let's see if I can pop this thing a few times in a row, and we go on to the next shot. Whoops. Okay, I should be able to get it 10 in a row. We'll see here. We'll see. One of the other things is the way you develop intensity. Well, let me hit a couple of these. Okay. Boom. Don't take your eyes off of the spot. Don't set this ball up, pick this up, then turn around and look at the clouds and wander around the room. You know, and don't do that in the pool room either. When you're playing pool and you're trying to beat somebody, keep your eyes. Watch me when I do this. It's almost stalking. It's almost stalking the table. Your eyes get adjusted to looking at certain distances. Some days you see the balls better than others. That's an absolute fact. You can create in yourself the ability to see the balls the way you need to, to play your best by never, when you're playing, don't take your eyes off the table. When your man's at the table shooting, you're still watching the balls. Your mind's adjusting to angles. You're imprinting. If you want to win, you focus. You stay on this. You stay on this table every time. Boom. Center the hole. Now watch my eyes. I'm still looking at the hole. I'm looking at the balls. My eyes don't ever come off of the table. I'm looking at what I have to hit right now as I'm moving. My eyes are already adjusted to the spot that I have to hit on that ball while I'm moving. I haven't taken my, when I want to play, when you want to play, you don't take your eyes off of this thing. Boom! Boom! You don't look around the room. If you're in a place for fun and you want to look around the room and you want to look to see what kind of girls are watching you and all of that, you know, that's what you're getting out of it. That's what you're getting. If you want to beat people, one of the biggest secrets in this game is to don't take your eyes off of what you're doing. They'll get better and better. They'll get more adjusted to the light. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's another thing a lot of people don't know is how important the light is in this game. You're watching, you're stalking, you're ready, you're thinking. Say you come in out of the dark to a well-lit pool room, it takes between 40 and 50 minutes for your eyes to adjust fully to the new light. You come in out of the bright sunshine into a pool room, 40 to 50 minutes before you can see the same as somebody else that's been in there that long. Absolute fact, something you need to know. You don't take your eyes off of what you're trying to do if you want to be a winner. If you want to be a winner, there's suckers and there's winners. Bam! Bam! You know, it's all right to come in the pool and you just have fun, you know. If you want to be a winner, though, if you notice, and you, once you've missed this ball a couple times and, you, you know, you've been at it, you've been at it, you'll start stalking this sucker, too. That's the key is to bring full focus to this. If you miss it, I want you to get mad and more and more serious. More and more serious. Until you're focused in here, man, like a, a, like a killing machine, a little killing machine. Boom! Boom! You know, it's, some pool players are predators and some are warriors. You know, the difference between a predator and a warrior is a predator hunts food, you know, and a warrior hunts men. You know, be a warrior. Whatever happens, don't be the food. Don't be the food. Happens. Don't be the food. Don't be the fool. Be a predator and be a warrior. Don't be dinner, kids. Stay with this shot. Perfect in the hole. Outside edge of that 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 hole. You do it and you do it until it's just work. Bam! One more. One more is ten for me. One more is ten for me. All the way around. I mean, I picked it up. I took my eye off of the second. I picked it up right here. Right here I picked up the spot I got to hit. You know, I'm on it. I'm on it. no good scratching, but I got my turn in a row. I'm going to come on and I'm going to come to the next shot. You know, I will carry it away. I touch it with a little bit of left. It feels good when you hit it every time. When the intensity builds, I swear to you, it releases some kind of hormone that you can't get released any other way when something like this. And you just start to feel good. You know, you're, you're functioning. You're executing at the highest level that I've ever felt that human beings execute at it. It's a wonderful thing when the intensity builds. I'll be back in a second. Let me set up this next shot. This is the last shot of the workout. And you don't have to shoot this one in times in a row because it's a little more difficult. This object ball is an inch, inch and a half or so off of this diamond here, off of this diamond. Cue ball's on the spot. You're just going to cut it in the corner. Now I'm going to tell you what you're going to do wrong. You guys are going to shoot this ball. You're going to hit over here this time. Because right now your point of aim is going to change. Instead of trying to hit the back of the pocket, being this close to the ball and that far away from the pocket, you're going to aim at a point on this ball. Your brain isn't automatically aiming at a point in the hole. This looks like a very thin cut to you. Watch when you go and you do this. You're going to see that you're, I'm right. You're going to hit this as thin as you can. You can actually cut this ball almost to here. You're going to hit it thin. You're going to miss over on this side because you don't know how thick this shot actually needs to be hit. So when you go over there, honestly try to make that ball. Your brain's going to say hit it as thin as you can. You hit it as thin as you can. You're going to be over here. You know, 10 times or 15 times you're successful pocketing this ball. Packeting this ball. I got all of these balls in the way. I'm going to have a mess.